everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the first episode of uh, Saikin Yatota Meiga Ayashi. And this show I've been pretty excited to watch. This is a bit of a late show in the season. You know, it's been kind of rough just the waiting for it, but it is finally here. And yeah, the reason why I'm pretty interested in checking this out is mostly because of the, the voice actress for our main girl, the, the maid, being Takahashi Ri, one of my favorite voice actresses, like top five. Without, without question. And that's something to be pretty, pretty excited about. And just in general, the maid's character design is pretty, pretty great. You know, pretty, pretty excited. And it is a comedy anime, which in general are the kind, mostly what I like to, like to react to, right? And yeah, it seems we're gonna have a dynamic between like a maid and the, you know, the master of the house or the son of the master of the house or whatever, right? Who is just suspicious of her, which just sounds kind of fun. I'm not sure exactly why he's suspicious of her, the, you know, the Ayashi part of the, uh, the opening or the, the title, because, you know, I try not to read the, the detailed descriptions. I usually try just to try to gauge what, what I want to watch based on title, cover art, tags, and maybe, you know, suggestions from, from fans and stuff like that. So I'm not sure exactly what the, you know, in detail what the premise of the show is. I just know that, for some reason, he seems skeptical of the maid, so... Yeah, like I said, I'm pretty eager to get into this, so let's just jump on in. Although, I guess I do have to explain my reaction format real quick. I did not show the anime footage itself in this video because of potential copyright issues with YouTube, but I show you subtitles and a timer, so you can get your own copy of the show and get it all synced up, and we can watch it together. If we're okay with all that, then let's watch some anime together. Three, two, one, play. Okay, that's our, you know, one of our two main characters, and... The maid already works here, it seems like. So, yeah, she seems like she's doing a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent job. I don't see what the problem is yet. Hopefully he can clarify what's so, you know, what's so suspicious about her. Okay. Wait, you think she's, like, overqualified for this place? <laughs> I don't think she's a witch or anything. I... Man, look at that! Just did that everything. I mean, those eyes are pretty magical. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can kind of understand why you would think she's some kind of magical being. But uh, an opening, okay. If we have an opening, but Jesus Christ, is she gorgeous though? Like seriously, that's gonna take some getting used to. I made a hired recently. Is is mysterious. I see what she she fills with that made uniform rather rather nicely. If anything, you're suspicious for skulking around corners. But anyway, I mean he lives there, so I guess he can get away with that. Okay, so he doesn't like a friend at school, it looks like. <laughs> okay, does she like the maid? Does she want to meet her? It was, it was an interesting reaction we got there. And yeah, home sweet home and maid sweet maid. But yeah, she definitely seems really nice. So, Ski Janai. <laughs> That's an interesting title there. Okay. Okay, we have another maid, it looks like. Some orange hair girl. And just look at those eyes. Like, they really do just captivate you, don't they? Like, I know what chest does, too, but... The fact that her eyes can somewhat draw your attention away from the chest is pretty oppressive in its own right. But they, they do. <laughs> I thought he hit it so well. Actually, kind of give me made dragon flashbacks now that I think about it. <laughs> you just don't know how lucky you are to have it made like that. I would pay any price. I'd sell my stuff if I could have it made like that. Okay, she definitely brought the tea. Hmm. 
What is suspicious about the movements? And she's so skilled. <laughs> Don't ask me. Are we gonna actually get to see the hiring process? Because that's kind of where I thought we would start. Okay, so that's our situation. Got it. She basically is a master of the household. Well, we'll be leaving now. It is abandoned this child. Okay. Can't really afford to have that much staff. Gotcha. Well, obviously you get it made somehow, so how do we get to that? <laughs> nice hat, boy. He kind of has feminine legs and kind of arms, too, to an extent. I guess we'll see how capable he is without a maid. Not, not very. Well, eat the ducky must and all that. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. I imagine this will go about as well. I think you're putting in too much detergent. You're gonna just flood the room. <sighs> really should say that before it's done. Uh, like, it's really not that hard to do the laundry. You just gotta properly measure the, the stuff and... Like, cooking's difficult, but most of the household tasks really aren't with modern technology, right? Oh, no, not the homework. Uh, so, yeah, not going super well. So is he, is he going to actively seek out getting a maid, or is she just going to, like, show up at some point? Because if, if she does, I could see that being kind of suspicious. If she just showed up and offered to be a maid out of nowhere. But yeah, the one thing that you... is the hardest screw up. Good old ramen. But yeah, I got to be pretty lonely. And I have at least one gorgeous maid in the household. And yep, she just kind of shows up. <laughs> okay. What a sign for sore eyes that would be. Actually, have we even gotten a, maid, a name from her yet? I don't think we have. Yeah, let's fix that. <laughs> I will take care of it, starting now. Yeah, she just makes the offer out of nowhere. I can definitely see that being a little bit suspicious. A literal goddess slash maid shows up and just decides to, you know, improve, improve your life. Okay, that is definitely suspicious. Uh, yeah, I definitely get it now. I mean, if you don't want her, I'll take her. I'll just... She's right within my budget. You, you clearly do need that. You know, it's not fair drawing him in with your eyes. You can't say no now.
she's probably like a friend of your father's, you know, or something like that from back in the day. That's what I would assume. Maybe a plot twist, she's your true mother. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be something. I don't think he properly appreciates you. Just seriously, come into my place. That's a lot better than what you made, yeah. The house just looks brighter in general than before she showed up. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, it's quite the accusation. I hope you have some proof to back that up. She could even be a dragon. I almost want to believe her when she says it like that. She admits it. <laughs> yeah, he's... <laughs> Magic is the only possible explanation. That's <clears throat> <laughs> what you get for kidding with him. I started playing the Himegari Dungeon Meister recently, and that's what Cut Man now reminds me of. Because the one character really likes it. She's gonna sacrifice you to increase your level of power. Not as stealthy as you thought. I'm sure that'll work. <laughs> I plan to make food and clean the house. Oh yeah, go down, definitely, definitely quite delicious. I'm sure you are. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be fooled by your cuteness. You're definitely, um, having an unintended effect on her here. <laughs> yeah, it's episode one, we can't reveal too many secrets just yet. You know, he's kind of phrasing the question wrong. What he should say is, out of all the places that you could work, why did you choose this specific place? I think that's where you should start, you know. Because it's very much less accusatory and all that. Uh, she actually looks pretty good on that. Uh, unsurprisingly. 
Yeah, her eyes like kind of glow. Like it's definitely has a, kind of a magic feel to it. <laughs> yeah, it was obviously a nightmare. Yeah, it wouldn't be a nightmare for me, I tell you that. Yeah, she would have that kind of effect. Did she get right outside the door? No. That'd be funny if he just like walks into her. I wonder why. Is she reading more of those magical grimoires? <laughs> sure, it'll be fine. <laughs> Ah, uh, there she is. That is in cooking in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, clearly trying some kind of spell here. Ah, uh, wow, that looks so good. Uh, I'm actually kind of hungry already, and this is not, not helping at all. As always, Izadaki Mas can be translated whatever you want it to be. Oh, I'll take seconds, thirds, and maybe a little bit of fourths. <laughs> it looks much less menacing here. Why would she do that? Like what? <laughs> yeah, it was called practicing cooking. <laughs> Love. <laughs> I would not need a potion for that, I tell you that. No potion necessary. <laughs> yeah, the nerve of this woman doing such a thing. <laughs> Yeah, no wonder. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason why. It's not those gorgeous eyes and that voluptuous chest, that cleavage, the sexy maid uniform, none of that stuff. It's clearly just magic. You know, the blushing as well to top that all off. Yeah. <laughs> Telling him you give him a love potion, yeah, much less embarrassing. <laughs> I guess. I, I don't know the logic of this woman. Oh wow, that's a that's a mid card. At least I hope it's a mid card. Okay, we're a little bit more than halfway through, but uh, at least I still have some episode left. She definitely does that a lot. Cleaning the windows. Oh, we, should, we know she wields magic and makes potions. But other than that, yeah, not much. Yeah, you'd think you'd know that, like, on day one, but... Yeah. As soon as she's your employee. Your living employee. I... <laughs> Maybe just trying to prompt you to ask what her name is. The white universe is calling someone by name suspicious. Well, either that or just calling them, you know, Coach Iji and Summer. Either one works. <laughs> okay. What is this logic? <laughs> it's such flawed logic. <laughs> Still did not get her name, by the way. But you scared her off. 
And he interprets almost anything and everything she does as being suspicious. How can one kid be so paranoid? Good God. <laughs> Gotta Google this girl. Whose name we don't know. What did that book say? I thought it said suspicious for a second. Okay, we got the name. That's good. It's actually kind of a succubus kind of name, too. Good luck. Yeah. Well, you complained last time. I mean, you have a preference of what you, if you prefer preference of what you're like being called, you could tell her. I'm sure she'd do it. <laughs> I swear she does this on purpose. <laughs> that was some real animation there. Not quite the level of name calling. But we'll get there, right? <laughs> okay, he had his opportunity to say her name. She definitely noticed. <laughs> what a what a motivation. That a uh, picture of him, like an old picture, or well, it doesn't look like that would all have built of a picture. So she kind of looks like she's running away here. But huh? See, I'm not sure exactly what that was about. Not quite sure how to take that. But we have her AD here. And lots of bubbles. And they're like the only two characters that we got. I mean, we had some, you know, the fired staff and all that. But aside from that, like, there was, they were the only characters in this whole episode. Himitsuno and you know Futari. In Malserina spellbook, clearly. And the maid obviously putting the blanket over him as a as any good maid would do. Is that, is that kind of like implying they're, they're playing a game of chess together, like, you know, in the grand scheme of things? The young master, the cat in the morning glory. 
Okay, I guess we're getting a cat. <laughs> that could be fun. But uh, but yeah, that was the first episode of Saikin uh, Yatota Made Ga Hayashi. And yeah, definitely a, a solid first episode. Like, um, you know, more or less what I was expecting, right? I wasn't quite sure how she would come about working there, right? Because I knew that he considered her to be suspicious, right? So uh, why would he hire her? Because she can, he'd, be, he'd be considered just suspicious. That was kind of one of those things I was thinking about. But she kind of made him an offer, couldn't really refuse, like... Need help, obviously, because his cooking and cleaning skills not 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 the best. She shows up and offers to do all that for free, right? And uh, <clears throat> like, why would you say no to that? You know, you know, at the, at the very least, you give her a test run, and she's no good. You you fire her, right? So there's really nothing to lose. But very clearly, very confident in her job. Does a wonderful job, so much so that he accuses her of being a sorcerer, a magic user, right? And you know, he was already. Getting really convincing himself of that really did not help when she started joking about it because that just made him feel fully justified in his theory, right? That it was legit to the point where he kind of missed her opportunity to just say she was joking. <clears throat> <clears throat> but good God, this kid is paranoid. Like, Jesus. Like, um, I can understand being a little bit suspicious, but like, he just goes all, like, kind of way beyond that thinking about selling this private information to the black market and stuff like that. That's kind of a bit of a leap, right? That kind of goes beyond just being a little bit suspicious of some sense, somebody. But uh, over time, I'm sure they will build a relationship of trust and all that now that she's now that she's here. But yeah, she, uh, she she's quite something, you know? She does have that Takahashi Ri voice and it definitely has that sort of soothing feel to it, that, that voice. And she definitely is extremely attractive, extremely charming. Like, she... It's got to be very deliberate, these things she does, like when she, like, moves her hair behind her ear or slightly bends over. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if this girl was, literally was a succubus, because she definitely comes across that way, and that's, narratively speaking, very much the point. The name Lilith is very, very clearly, you know, very clearly uh, is proof of that, right? So very much going for a succubus kind of overall aesthetic and design with her character. And it, uh, it definitely works. Those eyes, a lot of effort was put into those eyes, and they are very... Very seductive as a result of that. And the kid is definitely having some... Being affected by all this, you know. He might be too young to really understand what's happening, but he, there was at least one segment in the episode where he was talking about the Doki Doki and all that, and he didn't really know how to interpret the stuff, but he was clearly getting affected by that succubus-like charm that she uh, exudiates. Is that is that a word? It is now. Right? And yeah, she does that. She does that well. And so far, there's really nothing... The, from her behavior that indicates she would be anything less than a perfect employee to have. Even middle of the night working hard to to improve her cooking skills and all that. Like, 10 out of 10 ideal made, there is literally nothing to complain about, like, at all. Like, regardless of what your criteria of a maid is, because there could be some subjective differences between people in that regard, she, she is a 10 out of 10 literal perf perfect maid, nothing to complain about. Unless you're an overly paranoid boy, that's, that, that's, that's about it, you know, right? So... So yeah, so that's that. She is incredibly cute and likable and fun and sexy and very skilled at her job. So yeah, definitely look forward to seeing more of her her stuff. Especially if we do get more characters. Because the opening does show more characters, even if we didn't get them in this episode specifically. They do exist. And it will be, it'll be interesting to see how they kind of change the dynamic, if they do have any real screen time to speak of. But... Uh, but yeah, it is interesting how they don't really seem to have too much of a height difference, despite the fact that he does, you know, look like a small child to, to a degree. But uh, like, I'm not even sure how old he's supposed to be, really. Maybe that's on his character profile, I don't know. I would assume around, like, 12, I don't know. But you never really guess anime character ages very well. I don't really bother to, to try. But, um... Yeah, really not much more to say on it, say on it than that, but... Uh, yeah, definitely a solid start start to the series, and this, like I said, this was a show I was looking forward to, and it does seem to be pretty, pretty, pretty good from what I could tell. So, looking forward to watching more episodes. But uh, for now, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.